Dear learners and listeners, welcome to NIOS. This is the third part of Domains of Development. In the first part, we talked about the physical and motor development. In the second part of this lesson, we talked about the socio-emotional development. And in this third part, we would be discussing that what is moral development? How does modern development takes place among little children? The word moral has been taken from the word mores, which means manners and customs. In the simplest terms, it is a sense of right and wrong. It includes moral behavior, moral reasoning and judgment. Moral behavior actually entails acting in a morally right manner. Moral reasoning refers to weighing the options as right or wrong. This is based on whether or not we are able to understand the multiple perspectives related to the problem. Let us now understand more about the development of moral reasoning in children. How does this moral reasoning develop among little children? A number of psychologists actually have described moral development among children. They have talked about the stages of moral development and as proposed by psychologist Jean Piaget and Lawrence Kohlberg, who have worked more about the moral development among little children. If we talk about Piaget, according to him, children's moral development can be understood by observing their understanding of rules during the play. That is, what rules they are following when they are playing with the peers around them. He described children's moral development through two stages, namely heteronomous and autonomous morality. If we talk about the heteronomous stage, what happens in the heteronomous stage? Children believe that whatever rules are there, they are universal and they cannot be changed. And some external authority has made those rules. That is heteronomy. They believe that rules cannot be changed and anyone who is breaking the rules will be punished for it. Since children in this stage see rules as unchangeable, they seldom show any flexibility to changing rules. That is, they have a tendency to stick to the rules that are made when they are playing. This is known as the heteronomous stage in the model development. The second stage according to Piaget is the autonomous stage in the model development. Now, as the name suggests, autonomous. That means the children now develop an autonomy. As the children are growing older, what happens? Their sense of morality moves towards more flexibility and they start believing in everyone's good. And they believe that whatever rules have been made, if they do not benefit others or them, then they have no place. That is, they can be changed by the common consensus. This means at the autonomous stage of moral development, children have the tendency to be flexible when it comes to the rules and regulations to behave. According to Lawrence Kohlberg, the moral development takes place at three levels. The first is the pre-moral level. The second is known as the level of conventional morality. And the last and the third is known as post-conventional morality. Let's understand about these three stages. At the pre-moral stage, children learn right and wrong from the people around them. Their conduct is determined by external factors like approval and disapproval by the authority figures or rewards and punishments. That is, whatever others are saying is right. Thus, a child's behavior is oriented towards obedience and punishment. As the child approaches middle childhood, the capacity to understand relationships and moral codes expands and it continues to grow in adolescence. At the level of conventional morality, children tend to believe that rules can be changed if they do not serve the common good of the society. In the post-conventional stage of moral development, the sense of right and wrong is decided by one's own conscience and nothing can be imposed from outside. One may keep certain universals 
like value for life at the highest order of values and may also break a law for the same. This is how according to Jean Piaget and according to Lawrence Kohlberg, moral development takes place in which we could understand that if we talk about Jean Piaget, he has said that moral development takes place in two stages. First is the heteronymous stage and second is the autonomous stage. We talk about the heteronymous stage, it means that rules are universal and they cannot be changed. And if we talk about the autonomous stage, it means that rules can be changed with common consensus if they are not serving a good purpose or benefit for others. And uh, according to Lawrence Kohlberg, the moral development is taking place at three levels, which is the pre-moral development, the conventional level and the post-conventional level. And which is the first level is that rules cannot be changed. Then the child starts understanding and knowing that if the rules are not serving the benefit for others, then they can be changed with one's conscience or with the consensus with others. I hope you could understand that how the moral development takes place among little children. With this, I end up for today's program. Thank you.